Well, hello, welcome to the ITL. Oh, this week, I mean, last week, I actually, last two weeks, I actually was trying out the, uh, oh, basically, it was the duplicate of a wireless microphone of what I was using since November. And actually, I found out good news about it, and I got, actually was able to get the other microphone, as, if you watch those videos, going. So, uh, yeah, I have two sets of those now, and they, they actually work together. Um, then I also showed you my new phone, which is I just just sit right here, and I do yes I do use I'm able to use it with my my camera set up so that helps out a lot. Um, but yeah, this week I'm going to actually I'm trying something else out, something new to me out. Well, else it comes in line with my microphones. Yes, this is actually going to be the last one for a while. And I'll tell you this little bit of a background story on this particular microphone setup. And if it works as good as I as the tests inside the house, I am thrilled with it. I mean, I'll tell you what, I really enjoy it. If it works out as good as my testing inside the house was, it's it really shows up my other two, three microphones tremendously. And I'll explain to you why. Okay, first is the back story. Whenever my uh, pile microphone was acting up and quit working on me, I, uh, I went, of course, I took it apart and I couldn't find out what was going on. And here was just a microphone I found out, the wired microphone part that I found out was bad on it later on. But before I found that out, I went online. I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try to get something a little bit better that's not the same as that model, make a model. So I found a, another wireless microphone. And also, the, the way the pile and its brother plugs into the cameras, I mean, I have the adapter, then the receiver plugs it in, so extra weight on the port, on the microphone port. Never, I don't, I never really cared for that. I figured it works, but I never really cared for it. It's extra wear and tear on the port. So I looked for something that didn't, wasn't that set up. So, what I, what I ended up finding was, in the, I got two boxes, yeah, and I'm, there's a backstory on that one. It's a good part of the story. This is actually what I call, I call the uh, JH3308. It's actually online. It's called the EMB Pro Wireless Lavalier Microphone. Type 1 JH3308. I missed, I missed a printed it. And uh, you know what? If you're lucky, if you if you like the way it sounds and everything, I'll go ahead and just leave a link down. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be how long it's going to be there for on Amazon, but I bought this off of Amazon. I'm going to throw the link down in the description for you if you like it. Um, the seller, I'll, I'll tell you about the seller here in a minute. The seller's fantastic with me. Um, First off, I mean this is gonna be a longer, longer ITL. This is what I got the first time, minus the wired mo microphone part. This is what I got the first time, and I'll tell you, I had a high expectations for this because of the way, the way it is, and I don't know if I, how well it's going to pick up because on distance here, but this is what looks up in the front, back, side, whatever. Now, not, and I'll read off the specs and stuff as best I can. But it's, uh, it's an FM uh, wireless microphone. It runs uh, the power supply, nine volt. I mean, the batteries are included on this. Um, let me get into it because I can actually show you this because even though I'm using it and trying it, because this is the dead one. And um, how I got a dead one? Well, when I first ordered it, I waited for it to come in, and this came in. I went and fired, tried to fire it up, and the uh, receiver part just would not light up. And uh, we, uh, so what I ended up doing is, I mean, I put the batteries in, I changed it to my own batteries. This receiver would not light up, and I'll show you what comes in the box. So you have an idea. Okay, first off, you got the cord. That's one thing I, one thing I like. The uh, reason I picked this because the receiver. It actually has a cord that goes to the cameras. This is the cord I'll show to you here in a minute. 
the batteries come with it a 9 volt uh, I believe this the 9 volt goes to the transmitter then it comes with two triple A size batteries that, I, that goes into the receiver now remember I took the uh, the lapel part, wired lapel part microphone off out of this kit because of the uh, I needed it for my other microphone and it works. Now this here is the transmitter part which I have in my pocket. It's working out of this set. Um, I don't know if this works or not. I didn't really try it. But this is the transmitter part. And it has a clip on it so you can put it on your belt or whatever. I, I really don't trust it too much on the belt. I do have to, I've had it on my other ones on my pocket, and they do work pretty well as long as you take care of it. Now, the, the last part which doesn't work in this kit is the receiver. And yeah, I've had, I just prepacked. I, I thought I was going to have to do one of these. Send it in. He said, "Don't worry about it, Mike. Don't worry at all." But yeah, this receiver is separate. It has a little metal antenna that sticks up if you want to for longer distance. On the front, it has a green and has a red light. It has an on-off switch. Well, whenever you first power up the power, which is the red one, should light up. It didn't do it, no matter what batteries I put on in it. And the red one's a signal. It tells you how if you get, it's getting signal from your uh, transmitter. This didn't work. And also it has an adjuster hole, just like so you can tune it in, just like my other microphones. It's on the bottom right here, right by the where you put the batteries in. Um, but I was disappointed. I was very disappointed. I got a hold of the the seller, and the seller said no problem. Um, I actually wrote to him de a pretty pretty detailed what I did. He said no problem. I'll send you one right out, and he did. It was he right out. A few days later, I got what I'm using now on it. Um, the one thing that I did do. Because there is an output port right there, on the side of the, the on the side of the receiver. That's where the cord, the 3.5 millimeter cord plugs in. Then it goes out to your camera. Well, what it comes with is this cord right here. Now this cord has a 3.5 on one end. And you can see this is the 1 8th on the other end. The 1 8th plug is actually for like PA systems and stuff. And I guess it's mono. Um, what I ended up doing is, I have a local, what they call big lots, um, around the area, and I was in there, and I found the 3 8 by 3 8 you know, 3 8 on one end, 3, oh, three 8 3.5 on one end, sorry, and a 3.5 on the other end. I don't know why I said 3 8 or 4, but I did. But it's a 3.5 to 3.5, I got that cord. And I ran, I plugged it in, ran it to my camera, works beautiful. That's actually a stereo and it works good too. Um, but yeah, it, that way I still have this cord. That way I can still plug it into my amplifier for my amplifiers or whatever and PAs, whatever. So I still have this cord, so that's, it works. Um, but yeah, well, as soon as I got it in, I put the batteries in, tried out the, re uh, the receiver. It works right out of the box. But in fact, I actually have, have plans of, of having like a Velcro on my uh, tripod so I can just stick it on the velcro and be done. I mean there's no extra weight on the camera everything will work beautiful. Um, so far until I mean I really don't know what this is going to sound like until I do the uh, the editing but my try when I did my to try it out it worked beautiful really beautiful. Um, now let's I didn't I didn't see the instructions on that one, but I'll, I'll get the instructions out and I'll read you off the specs on it. I have the instructions off this one. Okay, I'll give you the specs. So far it works beautiful. The, the microphone sensitivity is 72 dB. The direct, directivity, unidirectional. The frequency response is 100 to 10,000 hertz. The output uh, impedance is 600 ohm. The operating voltage is 1.5 volt DC. 
And the effective distance is 15 to 30 meters. And uh, I mean, it's just a si really simple directions that come with it. It's really simple. I know you guys can't read it, but it's basically almost anybody can follow it. But this is, I mean, like I said, this is my trial trial on this first run. If this sounds as good as the tries I did when I first got to make sure it worked, I am going to be ecstatic. Um, and this will be this will be changed to my uh, primary microphone. Now this will give me, if this works out really well, this will give me three lapel mics and my handheld mic. And my next step will be to get a, uh, a, a four channel, a four port mixing board, wireless mixing board. It will run off nine volt. And that way I'll be able to run my, my all my microphones at once into my camera. That way it'll, I will get, what I'm looking for is basically be able to do interviews, group interviews, possibly small ones. And oh, basically anything in that order. So, my, I mean, my, except for the mixer board, I mean, and I wasn't expecting to, to have this. Whenever I got a hold of the, after the dead one, I expected just a refund. Because whenever I, whenever I got back to, got to the seller and told them, said, this is dead. And I, and I asked, I asked them, do whatever, a refund, replacement, it didn't matter. And, but I went ahead and ordered the, 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 basically the clone to my pile, which, so I wasn't really expecting to get this in. I, I kind of gave up on it, but I mean, I am, a, I'm ecstatic that it, 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 he didn't refund it. I'm ecstatic that he, I mean, this, this microphone, I got it on Amazon. It wasn't Amazon Prime. Um, that's why I ended up paying, paying shipping because I'm an Amazon Prime member. But, I mean, I'll tell you, it started out, I think, it, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description to, to uh, where you can buy it if you're interested. But I'm not too sure. I think, I mean, I, I would get, I, I would, if I remember right, it was like 10, 11, 12 bucks. And, I, I mean, that really makes me happy. I always try to keep my microphone, all my uh, purchases under $20. That way I'm showing you what, to, what worked, how it worked, how it sounds and everything and for under 20 bucks because i mean i'm i'm a firm believer if you want to be a youtuber i mean I'm, am i going to make a big no but if i want to do the job and do it the best of my abilities you could do it under 20 bucks for for each piece i mean I, i've the, this microphone is 20 bucks the camera well come on it's a hero and it has them for the plug-in mic port that, that is my biggest experience would be my biggest expense is the here is the camera tripod i bought for a few dollars at a a, a uh, thrift store i ended up doing a couple of little modifications to make it do my job but it is only a few dollars um but that's my main goal is just to show everybody you can do this stuff at a reasonable price is it perfect no but you're still getting the job done and you're still it, it's still okay it's not bad but this, I mean, I hope, I'm hoping this helps somebody out. I mean, this is just another gadget to put in my box. And yes, I'm going to have to get a nice storage box with some foam lining to be able to store and keep track of all my gadgets and gears for uh, doing these videos. But yeah, <laughs> uh, what, what else was I going to say? What else was I going to say? Oh, I was going to show you, like, the, to put the batteries into the uh, receiver. All it is is got a little door in the bottom. You push out, just like any, any, any other product, push out, it comes off, and the, nine, uh, the little uh, AAA batteries slide in. And, then you, and it shows you on the, on the plastic here which direction it goes in. That way, as long as you follow it, there shouldn't be a problem. Um, the one thing, I mean, these are, these, this is plastic, so you got to be, you, gotta, you don't be total ginger, really fragile with it. But you take care of it. You don't push root reef on it. Um, the transmitter part of it, the nine volt battery was a little tough to go in because of the, 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 the hook part that goes onto your belt. Um, it gets it in the road whenever you go ahead and slide because the nine volt just slides in, shows you the direction, which way you put it, it goes in and on a little sticker inside. It's on the back part here and it's just slides in 
Now this is not really a, a adjustable for the volume on it like my other ones, but I mean, I like the volume what it was. It just has a simple on and off switch and the green light to show you the setting signal out. And to, if you've got other things that they do match up, it says right here, this the JH3308 and so does the receiver part of it has the same thing. So that, I mean, unless you have a few of these, I mean, it's easy to match up. Um, the batteries in them, I mean, they're cheap batteries. You got to kind of expect that. Myself, I mean, I looked at them. They don't look like they're really, really junky cheap. But, uh, you know, I'll run them for a little bit, then I'll just trash them and get the batter, better batteries that I like to put in them. But they'll work for now. Um, yeah. The 9 volts the same way. 9 volts, same same thing. It's a, a King battery KB. It's just, it looks cheap to me. Uh, I'll use it for a little bit, then go ahead and just trash it. Even before it's dead. That way I know it's not going to leak. And to be honest with you, whenever you're not going to use any for a long time, up to long periods of time, it's a good habit just to remove the batteries whenever you pack them away. That way they're not leaking and destroying your product in the first place. You catch in the first place. Whenever I'm using it every week, actually I, I use them two, three times a week, I just go ahead and leave the batteries in. But I do open the door up every few weeks just to take a look inside and make sure nothing's leaking, everything's okay. And whenever I notice that the lights are getting a little dim, I'll go ahead and try to change the batteries out. And all I use is, I mean, I'm cheap. I'm doing this on a budget, shoestring budget. One shoestring budget when you have two shoes. Uh, I go to the dollar store and I buy the cheap batteries for a buck for a big pack. And that way I have plenty of batteries to go around. If I use them for other things around the house and it just works that way. Now the other ones, uh, the other, the other uh, microphones I say, they just work. This is better than that actually. With the less weight on the camera and everything, I mean this is just awesome if long the audio comes out as good as I expect it to on this, on this video. I mean it is I am thrilled with it. Um, I can't remember the seller's name off the top of my head. Like I said, I'll have the link down below for you. Um, if I make future videos on it, I'll try to make I'll try to make sure I have the seller's name for you guys. I don't know if I'll be making future videos or not. I mean, I, I, I love my gadgets and gears, but this is awesome. Um, I'm very, very happy with this purchase at all, all around. It is just, it is great. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of show of show and tell and me trying this microphone. These are not just me just showing you. These are first tries of me making a video for the ITL with these microphones. So, I mean, it's just not, look at this, look at this. It's, it's actually showing me how well it comes out. And yes, the other microphone in the last two weeks I used, it was, it had a ton of, kind of a, um, a background noise. That can be tuned out. It's got an adjuster on the uh, receiver part. You just put a little teeny flat, uh, flathead screwdriver, straight screwdriver, and you turn both a little bit, and it will adjust that out. Um, I kind of see it right now. Yeah, I could adjust it out, but if this works out, I'm gonna, it's usable the way it is. It's usable the way it is. It's just it's just not up to my quite up to my standards on it. And from my understand, from what I heard in the house with the trying on this. This picked up more of the of the uh, background sounds a little bit. That way, it doesn't sound so flat, and I, I like that better. But I figured I'll go ahead and uh, share this with you. If you're interested in 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 this product, I mean this microphone. Uh, yes, I know most of my viewers aren't, but if you are interested in it, and I figure I can try to help you out. Uh, the, I'll put the link down to the Amazon. Right down in the description, that way you guys can get it. It's a cheap microphone. How long will it last? I don't know. But for now, it works great. And if you get a dead, a dud, the the seller just works and just turns it right around for you, and gets you a gets you a fresh one. And hopefully that'll work really well. This is Muzzle Mike. Hoping you all have a great week. Signing out.